Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. Hey, I have a great group in studio with me right now. I have Tony Hotko and I have Joe Reiplinger, and they're of CCS Technology. Wow, great name. Great Welcome. name. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about CCS te Technology. CCS Technology is a company that's been in existence for quite some time. Uh, I bought into it in the year 1999 when the world was hot with Y2K problems. And we all thought it was going to end. And we all thought it was going to end. And here we are. And uh, it's been an adaptation and trying to keep up with the pace mm -hmm. of technology change. But mm -hmm. we're focused on small business owners. Uh, we like to bring technology to them to help them uh, get through all of the changing world and make technology work for them. Well, I think you, you are absolutely moving in the right direction because I think technology is just all around us and we don't know necessarily what we should be doing. Why should a small business, because that's often not my, I'm a small business, my goal is not technology, but I need it. So why should I be thinking that you guys can help me out? You know, we Tony? do a lot of different things, right? We see with small businesses, you know, either you don't have an IT person and you're, you know, a small business, you're, you've got other things on your plate that right. always seem to be more important than right. IT, right? Right. But when it goes down, oh, it's man. a major problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we see that that is an issue for small businesses. We like to come in there, make sure everything's going smooth, and then really look at and say, how do we take your company further with IT and what are you trying to solve or do that technology could help in? Right, and I often think that we get bogged down in our own business that we don't take time to, um, to talk with you guys and find out that solutions are not as big and you know, daunting as we think they are. Uh, yes. what, are the, what are some of the biggest issues facing small business that you guys come in and, and see on a regular basis and solve problems? <laughs> problem solvers that is what we are you guys um, are I feel like you we, need some capes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, tr we try to help uh, the owners actually figure out where they're um, having issues mm -hmm. and make technology work for them not only from a day-to-day -day operations perspective but really to take advantage of the information and make strategic decisions one of the things that small businesses can't do because they're they're so focused on cash flow and just keeping things running right is to take the time, step back, and really look at what strategic things that technology can do to help them either be more efficient or find a better way to get at their customers, talk to their customers. I think one of the things that small business, or all businesses, I think, are just coming to grips with is that we all are going to use technology. Even if I'm not a technology business, if I'm a landscaper, I'm still going to use technology. And that's where someone like you guys really come into play. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity with mobile, mm -hmm. uh, you know, accessing your data everywhere. Like you said, landscapers, they're out there. And right. if they want to look at plans or they want to communicate back, they're using tablets in the field. Uh, you're seeing all kinds of new technology coming up. And the younger generation just absorbs it, right? When they come to work, they expect a lot of that technology to be there. Right. So a lot of the older businesses have to figure how is how are they going to attract that people, right? Because technology is what they want to play with in the, in the, in the workspace. Right, and it's a little bit about, as you said, connectivity too. How do I have whatever I have at my office get to my mobile device? And, and often, that's where you know a group like yours is really helpful because you know all the you know the answers. <laughs> you get to yeah figure that out for us. I, I feel like you guys have a lot of passion for technology. Tell me where that comes from and, and why. Uh, the passion comes from the fact that I've been a science geek all my life. Um, I like to know how things work. I like to dig into it and, and make things work together. Um, so electronics and things of that nature is just something that's been with me my whole life. Tony's got a different story. <laughs> you know, he... I'm more the gadget guy. I like to take it. You know, I don't, I don't care how it works underneath the covers. To me, that's Joe. Okay. But I like to say, how do we now solve business needs with that? How do okay. I automate something you know there's this process that takes you know the accounting department you know two days to do every you know every month right. well how do we automate it with that with technology or whatever it may be you know so that's what I really enjoy kind of that the business and using that technology to drive those opportunities that's why you guys are good partners you both have different, <laughs> different angles coming at what are some what are some of the biggest advice or tips you would give small businesses when they're thinking about hiring a company like yours um, small businesses are, again, they're, they're caught up in their day-to-day -day operations. We experience the same thing. Um, so you try to make, you try to make decisions um, and you get overwhelmed with your day-to-day -day operations. So 
When it comes to technology, um, engage a specialist. Engage somebody that can help you navigate through what technologies can help you, and a company like CCS Technology can do that. Um, we can turn this world of technology and all the techno babble into English that people can understand. And, and I would just, on that is, you know, don't be afraid to reach out and talk. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not, you know, we're not like an attorney clicking on the hour, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's right. have a conversation and just talk, I mean, just like this, you know, over a coffee or something. What are you trying to do? And let's just talk a little bit. And at the end of the day, you might, we might be able to give you some ideas you can go back and implement and it didn't cost you anything. It was a good conversation. Just talk to people who know what they're doing, you know, and are, are, are experts at what they do. Well, I think that's so important because there's just so much out there. Every day it seems like there's a new something new out there or there's a new update. There's a new, you know, a new device and you know there was six before and you're like, "Do I need to update now?" So I think that's really important. What's what's some plans for the future? What do you guys hope to to achieve? Well, we hope to achieve, uh, for our own company, we hope to achieve growth. Um, we're adding new skills and new, and new people with different skill sets because technology like medicine, uh, 20 years ago, uh, you, you have things changing so fast that one person can't possibly keep up with it. So we need people with different skill sets, even in our, or our own organization, in order to keep up. So. We're bringing in people in order to keep the skill sets current. Um, so our growth is to uh, help more business owners and bring more skills into the organization. Yeah, I think that's a, a great recap. You know, okay. we're really looking to be that trusted advisor to someone, um, be able to help them, you know, grow and achieve the success. If they grow and they're good, we're going to get better, and we grow with them. So really, it's a it's a partnership that happens with our clients. Well, and I think you guys are going to be in high demand as technologists keep technology keeps moving forward. Small businesses need someone like you because we we don't necessarily need you full time on our team, but man, we need to be able to call you and say, hey, let's have a cup of coffee and figure out what I do next. And that's a great point because we we don't have to be in your organization every day, but we are there for you when you need it. And that's what really matters. So thank you guys for stopping by and sharing a little bit about what you do. It's been wonderful. You all are very charming. So we're going to be right back with more Business Connection.